sometimes we used a silent film camera built in 1924 or so, where you still had to, you know, with the manual uh, move the camera. The interesting thing is that the lens, of course, on these cameras um, uh, were not color corrected for color film. Uh, so the effect uh, was, was very strange uh, uh, once you shot it. Another simple means, Oscar screams and glass shatters. Here, you put the camera on one side, a guy with a gun on the other side, and off goes the glass, and you just take the sound of the shot off. That was a little more complicated when he was screaming at his school teacher, and the school teacher's glasses would blow off, because where would we put the gun? <laughs> well, there you have the answer. You put the gun here, and you just shoot through her head, which was feasible by building a dummy, uh, you know, looked a lot, look alike, and uh, on the upper right side, you, you can see the, the kind of the gun-like machine built, and it was just shooting two bullets through her head, and off goes the glass. Uh, there it goes. And she wasn't hurt. <laughs> so this was, of course, the dummy, not her, but it wouldn't show. Another, when, when he is uh, shouting from the tower in town, and something like, I think it was 180 uh, glasses broke and fell down on the street, that was more difficult. We had to find little explosive charges that would make neither a flashlight nor a smoke. And the glass had to be done of sugar glass, as you use it for stunts in the movies, so when it falls down on the people down below, uh, it wouldn't hurt them. And at the same time, it had to be done when the sun was reflecting in those windows. Speak of a headache. And somehow we got it done. But it was one of our worst days. Uh, here is the corresponding scene. By the way, he is sitting way up on the tower of the Danzig... Uh, um, um, Lord Mayor's house, uh, looking down on uh, Aznavour and others, but of course he, we just rebuilt uh, this piece of the railing, and that was about on this level. Here we got the sun finally in the windows, and he got his scream, and one by one all the little explosive charges go off. Uh, he screams one more, actually there was no trick in his screaming, he really did it, uh, but there was no way, even with a big uh, machine generating high-pitched voices, uh, to get glass shattered. It doesn't work. And here had, you had the glass falling down on the, on the extras without hurting them because it was all pure sugar, and he is very happy. I don't know why this picture is there. Oh yeah, it was not as gruesome as it looked. You can eat eel. Uh, because, look, we built uh, a horse's head um, and with a chamber inside, and in that chamber uh, were the eels. Um, and uh, then when we brought the, the eel's head onto the beach uh, with the nylon wire, we opened uh, the, the thing and so that the eel can come out. Some of them, I have to admit, despite the Society of Protecting Animals, we kind of sued them to the... Uh, but you haven't heard this. Um, uh, uh, and uh, so is it just a gruesome image? Uh, that is the one time I asked uh, Gunder Grass about the deeper meaning. And he said, well, of course, when she sees these eel coming out, she knows that she is pregnant with an illegitimate father, once again with her lover, and she is a true believing Catholic, living in sin. And so th this is why the horse's head and these eels coming out is so horrible for her. It, is, it reminds her of giving birth once again. Besides fish, stay for Christian belief, you know all that with the peaches and the inri and so on.